It's week four of the National Football League. And... The 49ers offense ready to get rolling again. 3-0 are they on the new season. Here we go, here we go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, he's got some breathing room. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. Touchdown, 49ers. A big play there. 75 yards. And the 49ers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Here we go, here we go. They'll run on first down. Brock, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brock. And he powers his way up past the 30. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Up the middle they go. Brock. And some room to work. Does the big boy have the juice? And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Niners are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. Here we go, here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Here we go. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Brock. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. The Niners at 3-0 here in the month of September. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming here we up. Go, here we go. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Yes. On second down. It's Brock, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. And we talked earlier in those first couple of weeks about how he fits in with this new offense. He's insisted he could be the lead guy. He just needs the carries to prove it. And he's certainly gotten some looks here early, and he's taking advantage. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Up the middle they go. Brock. 
And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. That's how you pick up a first down. You know where the sticks are. You know where the first down marker is. And you find a way to get there. That's called having vision. He had a lot of vision last week, didn't he? NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Touchdown, 49ers! A great play there. Doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Niners have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Start this drive out on the ground. And so we're to it over. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A big play there. What is going on here? Four first quarter touchdowns. Unbelievable. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. up to go again. Might he be on his way to a record-setting performance here, Charles? Second quarter and the yardage number already ridiculous. And they always talk about just focusing on the next play, but sometimes it's okay to dream big yeah. because they... I'm focusing on the fourth quarter already. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't blame you, though, because we could be witnessing some type of history here, and it's being done by him and, of course, the big guys up front who are creating the holes for him to run through. Yeah, they've all been good so far. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here we go. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brock. Room here to run. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there. 35 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things... Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are... Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff up the middle. Brock to about the 40-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here Nine go. yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Up the middle they go. It's Brock. 
A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And he's got Rome. Touchdown, 49ers. A great play there. 36 yards. And the 49ers are able to add on to their first half lead. The Niners set to take over on offense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Cut. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock, officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Go ahead, go ahead. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and ahead, scores from yesterday's action. On second down now. It's Brock, and hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Here we go, here we go, here we go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, Brock. And he's got some space here. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A big play there. 58 yards as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. He's going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. And we'll jump right Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score go, on the other go. side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. The last run got six, now second and four. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Brock, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Up the middle they go. Brock, and he is going to have a 49ers first down, at least at first glance, as they spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brock, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they here come go, out here, and here take go. a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. On first down, Brock, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now a give, right side. It's Brock, and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. Now a handoff up the middle. Brock, and he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game as we like. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go ahead. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Does the big boy have the juice? He's at the 30. 10. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there. An 80-yard touchdown. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. We've seen him be good so far. He's They'll start this drive out on the ground. They find some open field here. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A great play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the 49ers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, I'm just not sure what more we can say about him after that one. But we're certainly going to give it a try, aren't we? Because I believe we're watching greatness personified. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They'll run on first down. It's Brock. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook. There's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. Hey, come on, come on, but come these on. defenders, they also know this is the NFL and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock, and a little bit of space there, takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. 
And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown for the And the 49ers are going to be moving to 4-0 as they extend their lead. And partner, are you kidding me with this game that he's having? We are in uncharted waters like we've never seen before. Just think. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But... They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continue to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. Yeah, and continue your theme about one team enjoying it. One fan base is enjoying it as well. The other fan base, they might disagree with what they've seen. But the one that's winning, they're certainly getting their money's worth. Well, this one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD. But, of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And, my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Up the middle they go. It's Brock, and this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Brock, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Jordan Fuller there to take him down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's second and five now from the 37. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brock. And some space here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been go, satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Here we go. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. On second down, it's Brock. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now a give, right side. Brock, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there. Finding the end zone yet again. And the 49ers are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead. In the here we go, here we go. Lock, 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 lock. Garoppolo on first down. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. <laughs> well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. 21, 21. Let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw complete here to IU. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 21, 21. There's Garoppolo to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. The Niners on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and two. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence? And they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A big play there. He flat out can't be stopped. And the Niners continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Well, they just continue to roll. And Charles, for you and I, we want the close games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And we are inside at two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Here we go. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue right, to right. salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brock. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. Go, this is go. when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it go here. Ahead, go ahead, go Just ahead. eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On second down now, it's Brock. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... Well, this was a fun one today. If you like points, a lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone.